DCN has released a video tutorial which talks about how to embed a video onto a web page in a simple site. This video will focus on how to add a video without having to embed. To do so, you need three things. First, access to edit your simple site. Second, the ID code of your chosen video. The ID is also called a Doc ID identifier. Later in this tutorial, I'll show you where to get it. The third item is optional. It's an image with a size under 400 times 300 pixels. Let me first show you the video I plan to use. It's a DCN video which has been uploaded to YouTube. Now let's look at our simple site. For this demonstration, I'm going to use one whose appearance has been enhanced by a style sheet from DCN's gallery. The layout and features are essentially the same as the default version. To save time, I've skipped the login steps. If you need help, please refer to the video which talks about how to log in and log out. I can tell this is the edit mode when I see the green box with options to add contents and edit the website. Next, let's determine where we want to add the video. In this demonstration, I've created a folder entitled Video Library, which contains a small collection of videos. From the Add Item drop-down menu, select Google Video. YouTube is the kind of video which will work too. When the template form appears, give it a title. In this case, I'll simply follow the title of the video, DCN Helps Nonprofits. Sometimes it's helpful information to add the word video in parentheses at the end, and that's what I'll do. The description is optional. I'll leave it blank. For the doc ID identifier, we can get it from the video. Look for the share button. Click on it. Then click once inside the box here to highlight the content. Copy it with the combined keys of Ctrl and C if you're using a PC. Now let's go back to the simple site. Place the cursor inside the box of Doc ID. Use the combined keys of Ctrl and V to paste it into the Doc ID box. Look for the equal sign. Highlight everything before and including the equal sign. Hit the delete key. What remains is the doc ID identifier. For the quality, leave it as best. For autoplay, I'll leave it unchecked for two reasons. The web page will take longer to load, and most people do not like that option. Now let's scroll down a little. For image, if you want one to be associated with the video in a listing, click on the Browse button, select an image of your choice, click on Open, and the information will be filled in here automatically. Now I'm ready to click the Save button. There's the video. Let's scroll down a little. You can click on the arrow to start playing. For now, I'll turn off the volume. For those who want to watch the video on a larger screen, they have the option to view it directly on YouTube or in full screen. I'm going to pause the video now. Next, I'll show you how to display the collection of videos as a listing. Go to the folder for Video Library, click on Display from the green bar, and select Summary View. Notice how the listing is displayed differently now and how the image we added earlier is now displayed on the right side. If you want to change the order of the listing, such as moving the video we just added to the top of the list, click on the Contents tab. Then click once on the item that you want to move until the color changes and drag it to the position where you want. 
Now you can check it by clicking on the View tab. There the video has been moved to the top of the list. Finally, it's always a good habit to check how everything looks to the public. You can log out now, but oftentimes I find it more convenient to open a different browser where I'm not logged in so that I can view the changes as a member of the public. This is the browser where I'm not logged in. If you don't see the changes yet, use the combined keys of Ctrl and F5 to refresh your browser. There, everything looks good. This tutorial has been brought to you by DCN, the Davis Community Network.